Alright. <clears throat> so, you don't have the field directives yet. Er, not the field directives, but... The modifications. So I don't know what setup that you're using. And also your AFK. <laughs> Okay. So, I, I wouldn't be loading any AP in the Manticore. And also, I wouldn't be going the way that you're going. Your T92 has the, uh, the right idea. For this map, usually the passive light tanks go over here in this area. And for the other side, it would be over here. I'm using my curse in case you didn't notice, but yeah, the uh, the north goes there as a passive light, the south goes over here. You can use all of the reeds, all of those bushes, the reeds, you can knock down the tree if you really want. Um, there's reeds over there that you can use too. You use that hill to spot this way. Um, that's just a much better place to go, and it's safer than going over here, because you never know when one of their light tanks is going to yellow in. And then, this is also a mistake, because you don't know if they have anyone on this hill yet. And considering they knocked over that tree, it's basically guaranteed they have someone up there. So, right now you're just gambling that their light tanks are bad. So let's see, so you spot that manticore, you don't have enough gun elevation. I don't even know if I would risk peeking him all that much, because there is a chance that he spots you. And if you get lit there, you're most likely gonna get killed. Um, so what I would be worried about most right now is that you only have one guy in the city, and it's in a shitty Chinese tank, so he's gonna be dead shortly. Um, and you really don't have anyone but a Leo to help you with what you're doing right now. Really not too sure what you're doing. So you spotted the Conway, and then you didn't realize that he was there. Oh. Going up that Manticore was the wrong play. You could have sat around here on the hill and still shot that Manti. Instead he drowned. So, right now you're just getting very lucky that their light tanks are shit. So since it's just an LH, he's never going to outspot you. So you're doing the right thing now with going up to these bushes. However, you should have gone into the bushes over there just to see if you can find their arty through there or through there or even through there. That way you could have gotten rid of their RD, and then you wouldn't have to worry about that for the end game. You know that there's no one on that hill, and you spot their LH went back into where you were. You, uh, you could have gone directly up to him, and then shot. There's really no reason to shoot on the, on the fly there. And then you should have waited to peek that so when you were loaded, that way you could have killed him. No. Oh god. There we go. So, you see that your E3 is getting surrounded over there. So what you could do is you could sit right here on this building and wait for them to push through here. And then you would have had shots as they go. 
and you would have been safe from everything but the RD. That's what killing the RD would have came to use. Um, what your T92 is doing right now is probably the m more useful thing to be doing. Because he's making sure that they're not rotating out this way, since they can't push over there. And then they're also making sure that their RD is staying over here, along with that scorpion. Um, and right now they really don't need you to spot the crossing for the heavies, because the Leo is able to do that himself. So effectively, all that you're doing right now is not really spotting. Um, I also wouldn't be in these bushes because it's pretty common for people to go from here, down here, and then into there. Or for someone to YOLO that way. Um, your T92 is kind of covering if they try and go that way, you'll know plenty of time before, but if they go this way, you're not really going to have much time to get out. you could have shot that WZ. Um, what you should do is auto aim the WZ so your cursor stays over there, then look to your left to see if there's anyone over here that's peeking that would spot you, and there was no one that was peeking because the AE died, so then you were able to shoot that WZ without getting lit. He misses, but he gets lit, so he's gonna die falling back. I mean, the you still aren't spotting the Leo. The Leo's spotting him for himself, which in turn is spotting everyone else for the rest of the team. So in essence, you're fighting for that spotting damage. You're not actually getting it all on your own, which is what you really want is you want to be spotting people on your own and not sharing it with someone else. Here again you could shoot that WZ and then that would get you more damage. The uh, the Manticore is a lot more than just sitting in a bush. You should be moving, shooting, like right now it's it's pretty much the end of the game so you could be controlling the rest of the map Especially going to kill that 121B depending on his HP. That would be a really good thing to do. Or, another thing that you could do is you could go up to the tree in there on this hill here. You could go right in that bush to see if the E5 is still there. And that would also tell you where the E3 is, possibly the Leo in the city over here. Or you could come all the way back to this dip and then go up to the bush right there to try and spot around. And if you don't see the E5, you could try going there and then that would tell you um, those two locations. And then you might be able to just fight the E5. Because right now what you're doing is you're essentially waiting for your team to continue to play the game rather than you winning it. Which... You're not getting anything right now, and you're not really doing anything sitting in this bush. So effectively, you're being a light tank uselessly. Um, like, you, you could be over there helping your TVP. Your T92 just did the right thing. He killed the scorpion, which makes that a uh, 1v1 over there against the TVP and 121B again. So there Leo ran, this is where you should really be moving up, and not sitting in the bush anymore. 
the the Leo's trying to tell you the same thing. Did you go AFK? Okay. Again, you should be over on the right side or you should move be moving this left side so that your team's not fighting both sides at the same time. Your T92 is pretty much carrying this game for your entire team and you're not really doing anything. Um it's it's really just not that point in the game to passive scout. Now is the time where you should be running around killing everyone because of your camo, like, they're never gonna see you. The E3, you could be shooting right now. Um, I think the major issue is that it seems like you're going AFK, and you need to stop doing that, because it's not getting you anything. The E3 would be an easy kill, and then you could go kill the E5. And then you're not moving. Uh, now you are. Jesus. Should have been moving four minutes ago, but that's okay. You should be able to shoot the E3 here, but you're not. So, you missed picking up the kill on the E3 and you got lit for that. And then you're sitting still. You really shouldn't be sitting still because they just took that area. So if you sit still here, you're risking getting shot. When what you could have done... If it would let me zoom out, there we go. What you could have done is you could have just kept going this way. And the E3 isn't able to shoot you from down there. So then you can get to a side. Like, I realize that the Manticore is a passive scouting mode, but at the end of the game, you should be moving. You should never be sitting in a bush. And right here, you're, you're trying to hit him in the lower plate when you should be going towards him and getting to his side. snap that shot in a lot faster than that. So, you know that your T92 is going to go for the arty. What would be better than doing that is just heading straight down the railroad here to get to those guys first. was some pretty bad aim there. You're lucky that that one hit. And then capping is not the right move. Because this game is easily winnable by killing them, and then that would get you more stats. Um, and not only that, but you're in the Manticore, so you're the best suited to be active scouting in this game right now. The other thing is, since you're capping, you should be back there in those reeds, like that T92 is. That would get you camo as well. Um, and then you should also be pre-aimed over here, because they're not going to come from the middle. that Leo. You should you would have been able to shoot that Leo had you been pre-aimed.
So I think the first thing is stop going passive for her three quarters of the game. Once you get down to around seven people, and a lot sooner if you can kill their light tanks, you should be playing actively. Because with your camo, if you're going on the edge of your V-range to spot people, they'll never spot you, no matter if you're in a bush or not. So, you were missing out on a lot of stuff by just sitting there. And especially when you were sitting here, that was that that pretty much killed your game. You could have had such a good game had you just kept going and gotten behind the E3, gotten behind the E5, and your your T92 pretty much did that all for you. Um, the other thing is is your super aggressive play going through here right at the beginning. Most of the time. That's not going to work, especially if the enemy team has an EBR. You're going to get spotted as soon as you're down here, and then they're going to have someone up on this hill that's going to shoot you. It's much better to go to this middle area first, or just to go to the house... The God damn it. The house right here. Either one of those spots would be better than going to their house right away. And that's just in terms of the information that you can get. You never want to be super aggressive at the start, because light tanks are what carry games. 